Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to use inheritance so you don't repeat yourself. There's a principle and program called don't repeat yourself, dry. You want to keep your code dry. This is a very common thing. Uh, it's, it's super useful to keep your uh, code uh, where you don't repeat yourself. So dry code is very useful. The reason repeated code is a problem because any changes require fixing code in multiple places. This usually means more work for programmers and more room for error. Notice the example below that uh, that the describe method is shared by bird and dog. So bird.prototype is equal to constructor of bird, and then we have a function in here called describe. And dog.prototype has a constructor of dog, and we have the exact same describe um, key value pair for a key of describe and the value of function. The describe method is repeated in two places. The code can be edited to follow the dry principle by creating a supertype or parent called animal. Cool. So now we've got a function of animal and we set the animal prototypes where the describe function is in animal. And then bird.prototype is equal to constructor bird. Dog.prototype is constructor dog. And since the animal includes the describe method, you can remove it from bird and dog. Okay, and then because bird and dog are created as prototypes of animal, they'll both have this method in there. So instead of having this code duplicated, we simply put it into a animal prototype, in which is um, over like which is a higher level prototype than both bird and dog because both bird and dogs are animals. Uh, the eat method is repeated in both cat and bear. So here we've got the eat method and bear, we've got the eat method, and they do the exact same thing. Um, edit the code in the spirit of dry by moving the eat method to the animal supertype. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is console.log um, animal.prototype. Okay, so here we see that there's, this should have the eat property. Animal prototype should have it, and bear and cat shouldn't. So bear and cat. Okay, so here bear and cat both have the eat function and animal does not. So we want to change that. So the first thing we could take it off from bear and bear will no longer have the eat function. Um, if we move it to the animal prototype, now the animal prototype does have it. Now still we, it's still on here, so we want to remove it as well from the cat prototype. Okay, so now this will pass the tests. So what did we do? We removed eat from both um, we removed eat from both uh, the bear constructor and the uh, oh wait bear prototype and both the cat prototype and the bear prototype, and we've moved it down to here. Now, at this point, I think that if you were to say um let yogi equal new bear called yogi and if we were to console dot log yogi we'd get the bear but then dot eat um that's undefined now item not what we need to do is set the bear and the cat to be prototypes of animal but we haven't done that yet so this is uh it's we have it yet to complete the um, making this code useful because yogi.eat should do that. Um, if uh, the bear prototype had still had the eat um, function on it, like it did at the beginning of the lesson, we would see yogi.eat would be a function of eat. And uh, if we did it, uh, if we actually executed it, we would say nom nom nom. But because we removed it from bear in the hopes of making dry code, we need it, yogi.eat to still work, but it's not doing that yet because we haven't linked it up. So my guess is that that's what we'll do in the next uh, exercise. But the idea here is you're moving the repeated code into higher levels of abstraction so that your code, if you wanted to change the, the log for nom nom nom, it would be um, easier to change because all you have to do is just do it here um, rather than editing both in the bear and cat prototypes. Okay, I hope that helps you guys. Um, interesting. Doesn't pass now. Oh, it's because I've got a, this is a error. And so the error is causing the code not to run properly. 
Um, we run the test and it'll pass. Okay. Hope you guys enjoy this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.